All right, guys, the same way, the same thing we did here. The far end here goes to the other one over there. Okay. See, the last part of this end here goes to the other last part of that over there. And the first end here is going back to the first end on the far left. Okay. So I'll give you the wires are here for the connection to complete the parallel connection. We can rip this one apart. Isolation day. Hey, hey. So you can take the other side of this wire. I want to make this video not too long, but uh, see. You take one part of this to the other side. This one can go only on the other side here. Let me show you. See the connectors? The way they look like? Okay. The male and female. This one. This one should go on, the, on this one here. Okay. See this one? Goes right there. This one goes right there, the one with the pins, internal ones. So, so the same thing here as well. So what we do here, let me show you guys. Get this camera all stable. Uh, it's kind of hectic day here. So remember, see this? This one right here is going to this one here. Got to get, get it connected. All snuggle snuggle and this one is going right here you can't you can't you can't miss it at all because the, uh, it has to go only one way see all right I'm gonna grab the other set of cable right here communication cable open up this one and get I've seen some videos on YouTube, but I haven't seen anyone trying to show exactly how it's connected. Unless they are there, I can find them. Remember, we're going the opposite now. The male and female. Son is coming back here. Right there. And this one is coming. It's going to be connected to this one here. Ta-da! So, folks, this is how you connect the PIP, the payroll mode. It's all done. Piece of cake, it's done. And here now, let me bring the camera close to you guys. You guys can see how everything is done the right way. Right there. Here is the battery uh, terminal. So it's recommended use a four gauge. Okay. See right there. Positive, negative. Right there is the input of the um, AC from the grid. Here you can give the capability to charge your batteries. This is not a PIP. This PIP cannot do um, like cell excess power back to the grid. No, this one is not designed for it. I hope. It's good I mentioned that because a lot of people probably think um, this one will put the excess power back to the grid. No, this one doesn't do it. This one built as a built-in inverter charger and a charge controller. Okay. I'm gonna show you again the specs here on the on the charge controller side. <clears throat> so you guys can see that's the AC output. The same thing you do the AC output here, the same thing you're going to be doing right here. They're all going to be parallel. So you pull in the same amps. It's just like putting a, a 212 volt battery to parallel. Then you have a high current. That's why the current, I'm going to go back to the specs so you guys can see. The current is kind of high when you connect to this stuff the way 
uh, we connected right now. And this side is going to be for the generator. And this here, the R, the RS232 is the communication, like the Ethernet. Okay? You can put the Ethernet cable, which I have here. I will show you Ethernet to RS2 for your computer. So the same thing, this output here or input, the output, you have an output here and an output over there. These are all going to be parallel. This is going to go um, to <coughs> your load center. This one has to have its own breaker, which is a, a 40 amp from your breaker box and 40 amp to your breaker box. So if this one's gonna be on L1, this is gonna be on L2. But they have to be on separate breakers. You don't have to be a double throw breakers. If you put them on double throw breakers, that means you trying to bring up uh, the power in uh, a 220 volts uh, American uh, AC grid power. So you're going to blow up this stuff. It's supposed to be only... It's pulling from one leg. Leg one. Let's say this one is leg two. All right? This is how you power them. A breaker on the left, 40 amps. A breaker on the right, 40 amps. So you're going to be having a breaker. Um, this one goes to the... If you have like a sub panel, you want to power your house, you off grid totally. This one goes to the one side. You have to buy a box, a, 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 a disconnect box or breaker box, which is, a, um, let me say you can use a 100 amp breaker box with a breaker. So you can able to disconnect the entire circuits. One is going to the one side, like a 240 breaker, a 240 box, a breaker box. And this one is going to the other uh, place so that you can able to pull loads that, like the way they ha wire the houses. You're going to pull the loads uh, simultaneously. So basically, if you do that, this one is on leg one, this one on the uh, leg two on a normal. Guys, this is just for off-grid. Okay, let me show you for off-grid. Or if you turn the breaker off, these two devices can able to power your house simultaneously because you know how the houses are, 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 are wired one leg has some other equipment and whatever maybe part of the kitchen and part of other stuff the living room or the bedrooms or the bathrooms and other one has the other section of the other rooms and so sockets and lights and whatever that's how you wire this just like a house just like the house exactly so one is going on one leg one is going on other leg that's how i'm going to connect it some people might probably have a different way of doing it. So when you pull a load, let me say a 240, okay? This is how house, uh, houses are uh, uh, wired. A 240, for example, uh, let me say you want to pull um, an air conditioning. So because of they're given 110 or 120, 120, 120, 120, so it comes out on both legs, then you can able to run your 240 on this ones. You can able to do that. Even if you don't parallel them, you can able to do it as well. But all these things, batteries, they're going to be connected to the battery bank. They're all going to be connected to the battery bank. So this is going to be your PV input right here. The far corner right here. This is where you connected your PV. You have to take this cover out, put the PV right here for your charge controller. It has a two fans, but these fans are running in the reverse. Instead of sucking the air up, it's bringing the air out. So some people normally flip the fans so that they can able to have the fans blow internally. Okay? Instead of uh, blowing the air out, it's blowing it inside to cool the component. I don't know why MPPT, MPP Solar um, designed that. I don't know. But uh, a lot of people with some videos, that's what he did. 
So I'm going to look into that and make sure I see maybe the first um, the first month or first week or whatever. How things go. If I started seeing some temperatures are reading really uh, higher or something. Then I'm going to do... Um, I'm gonna do the reverse. So here is the other set of cable, the USB. This one plugs right here, okay? You can plug this one right there, see that? And this one can go to your computer if you wanna run it that way. Software, firmware updates and whatever, you can use this. Just like classic or whatever, they have that. They have the, the communication port right here which is this one so the RS 232 to um, uh, RJ 45 which is like an Ethernet see that connector so we have to do that but there's a device you can buy and you can able to um, plug all this stuff there so if I take this one, plug it right there, this one goes to the computer, okay, to the serial port of the computer. So you can buy the other units like a, a thing, a box like where you can connect this, the male goes to the female, connect it and take um, the output's going to be... Um, uh, Ethernet cable, maybe CAT5 or CAT6, that's what you run to your computer just like you, the way you connect your classic and you can able to run the software that uh, we have here you can able to run the software this is the software here the watch power the latest version is available online so you can download that so these are the stuff this one goes to the computer. You can you can uh, set this uh, pip for. You can set it for one is going to be master, the other one is slave. So whatever you did to one is going to transfer to the other one because since they're all in parallel mode. So I have all the USB cables for that. This USB you can use only one. You know if you want to update your firmware, you can update um, the firmware. But it, it, everything comes in pair. Okay. The same thing here. I have here. It's right here. So you can just plug it back. I hope this thing makes sense to you guys. Some of you guys already have this. So you know. Some people learn the hard way. Some people you know, don't even have the help to figure out some of this stuff. But you know. It depends. Everybody's different. You, we learn differently. So. That's how they all plugged in. So I'm just showing you how everything is connected. You can take this part to your computer, this other part to your computer. It's just a matter of their parallel. Whatever you do to the one or you do to this one is going to happen to the other one. That's the one old thing about the uh, parallel thing. So one is going to be the master, one is going to be the slave. So this is where I'm going to wrap up my video, how you uh, connect uh, parallel uh, cards on a PIP 2424LV MSD, the US version, okay? So this, I'm gonna wrap up the video. Please, if you like, subscribe, like, and share. I hope this video helps somebody else. And if you find it helpful, please uh, subscribe, thumbs up, like, and share, like you guys always do, and uh, share your comments. And uh, if I mention anything wrong, you can connect. Uh, you can correct me. You know, we all we all we all learning as we go. We are not old to learn, but this is the way. Um, um, this is the way to connect it, unless you have another way. But I appreciate whatever the way you connect it is yours, and this is gonna be mine, and I'm gonna be in control of it, and this is how I'm gonna connect it, and this is what. I um I saw on the manual and this is how I'm going to do it. So we're going to put this one to test anytime from now. So you guys stay tuned to this channel so you can have the latest and the startup onto this 
one set of array is going to go on this one set of array is going to go on this then i have to um, select which one's going to be the master or which one's going to be the slave powered it up get the power in from the ac on one leg and the other side over there on the other side get another leg the output goes to output to disconnect here well out, output here is going to go to the other output and the output is going to go back. okay so the output is going to go disconnect output is going to go disconnect or you can parallel those according to um, the diagram here you guys can see what it is so that's what it says right there see how it's joined it takes the positive of the, the one that goes to the positive the negative goes to the negative so folks i think we got it all figured out that's how it should be that's the connection right there so i'm not making up this and this is how it should be and um that's what i did see the load L uh, the neutral the live the neutral the live is like one of the neutral is going to the neutral the live is going to the live on a load so it's just like parallel so you have a lot of amps just like building the big monster battery so Thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. Thanks. Uh, sorry for about the uh, live um, streaming, which um, YouTube, um, the, the software keep on crashing for some reason. I don't know why, but um, I already sent a notification or uh, a feedback to YouTube why the thing kept crashing for some reason. I don't know, because I want you guys to see this live from Minnesota and from JW Solo USA Command Center. This is how I'm going to be. Testing my PIP right here, the PIP I have here, which is going to be transitioned to my friend. And this is just um, a test, a test PIP. So I'm doing a test on this PIP. So folks, and this is going to be my first test on a, um, on a PIP machine. I never own one, but this is the first one that I'm going to be installed. This is the first one I'm going to be testing. And um, I hope you guys uh, find this helpful. I hope everything's going to be okay. And look at all this mess. A lot of wires, you know. So I'm trying. I'm going to put uh, some gutters and hide all these wires inside there. So it's not going to be all kind of messy like this. As you guys are seeing it right now. I'm going to clean up. And you guys know me. I, I like to clean up my stuff pretty good. So stay tuned. Let me flip the peep again so they can see the, the side of it. All right, folks, this is how the peeps going to look like after uh, when I put them on the board. This is how they're going to look like. All those messy wires you've seen, they're going to go through gutters. And I'm going to bury everything just like my command center here. You see everything covered up. And this is how it's going to look like. And I would like to I'll bring you back a live a stream if uh, the live stream works well so that you guys can see how um, this device uh, uh, started charging the batteries and before we transition everything back to the house. So this is how it's done and this is the way um, the book said, unless you have another method that uh, is not indicated on the book or maybe I didn't see, maybe <laughs> I'm so anxious, but I know I got everything right. The people with uh, the pips, well, shout out to you guys. And JW Solar is part of you guys now. And um, installing the first pip. All right. Take care, folks. And love you guys all. God bless. Look at all those wiring. Everything is right there. I didn't screw up. I don't screw every, anything down, everything down. So this is a temporal setup. All right. Take care. And uh, God bless. And have a wonderful day. Find this video helpful. Thumbs up. Recommend it to your friend. Recommend it to your loved ones. Recommend it to people who are trying to get uh, new pips. You're pro on this one. Kudos to you. This is the first install on the pip. This is the first uh, test um, they sent me. And this is what I'm going to put to work. Total of this thing is going to be a 40, uh, 4,800.
what 4.8 kilowatts of power at a 24 volt jw solar signing out well hello youtube friends subscribers jw solar usa today's video i'm going to show you how to um wire um a peep installing uh parallel cards on a peep 2424LV MDS American version, the 120 volt PIP. So the cards already in there, you can see them here. Comes with a, just a dummy ones that uh, already took off. These are the plates and this is the one that was here covering this portion right there. So I took two of them out. This is the other one right here. And now I already installed the parallel connector connection here. So which I'm going to be showing you how to install it, put it on parallel mode before um, we're going to put it live to work on our solar system. Okay, you guys stay tuned because um, I'll try, I was trying to do on a live video, but we are we were having the kind I'm going to show you guys. So now what do you, what you have to do in this case the uh parallel cables you have to put one goes there and to the other one over there. Just like a parallel for a uh, battery system you do a uh, parallel connection of 12 volts, you know, something like that. This one goes over there, the other one goes to the other connected to both angles right there um hold on i will show you please stay tuned if you're just tuning in you're welcome to jw solo usa please subscribe like and share all right youtube then um folks i'm gonna give you the connections here these are the wires just drop one and these are the other wires a set of them here so i'll show you by um see the end it shows indicate where the thing should be connected it has like a little pins here if you look at it i don't know if the camera okay there you go those pins you know have to uh face directly towards that direction and uh take this one back and plug it here to the other pip. So we'll take the other set of this wire right here and connect it to the second pip and goes back to the other side or the, the far end of that one. So we just almost done and we already got the, the, the thing connected those wires, then I'm going to show you the other part of that.